Hey guys, I'm back here again with another repair video, or shall I say maintenance. This is a Betco Optima. Um, what we're gonna do here is we're gonna do a valve adjustment. This is on a Kawasaki engine FS481V. Uh, should be quick. I'm gonna show you my process, which I believe is faster. If you're new here, consider subscribing. I'll have a lot more videos on repairs like this or other machines but all that being said let's get started first things first you're gonna take out this spark plug here so pull the coil out use a 13 16 socket go ahead and inspect it And you will be doing that to both sides. And again, inspect it. From what I know, a little bit of red is pretty, it's practically normal. Um, this is an NGK BPR 4ES if you're wanting to replace them, which I will. And now we're going to pull the valve covers off. Before we do that, get some shop towels. Put it underneath. There will be some oil coming out. And then we will be taking off uh, five 10 millimeter bolts right here. And simply just pull. And of course, there's the oil that came out. By the way, I already drained the oil. I'm also going to do an oil change on this. Here's where I differ my valve adjustment procedure. What I'm going to do is I'm going to spin this pad and I'm going to put my finger over the spark plug hole. So on the valve cover itself, it'll tell you the cylinder that it is. This is cylinder one. What we want to do is find top dead center. So what I'm going to do place my finger and I'm going to spin this clockwise until I feel some air pressure right there. I'm going to go ahead and grab a quarter inch extension and I'm going to find top dead center right there. And this is where we do our adjustments. Now that we're at top dead center, we're going to go ahead and adjust our valves. It's going to be six thousandths of an inch. You're going to grab probably two 10 millimeter wrenches. This is where you'll make your adjustment, but we need to loosen this nut first right under it. Go ahead and loosen it just a little bit. And you're going to go ahead and put your feeler gauge in. And with very small turns, you can see I barely moved it. You're going to make sure you get a tiny bit of drag on that. And then while holding that position, you're going to tighten this up. and it should slide pretty smooth. And I like to grab a seven thousandths of an inch and make sure it has a hard time going in. You could see I gotta readjust this again. Once you've adjusted it right, your six thousandths of an inch will go in. Seven thousandths will have a really hard time and you know you're, you're uh, good right there. Now we'll do the next one. So before I adjust it, obviously I should be checking it. See how that's too tight? Usually over time, that's what happens. That's why we are doing the adjustments. So again, loosen that nut and then small turns.
Now that we found it, go ahead, tighten that up, and then check it. And then grab your seven thousandths of an inch, hard time. So you know you're good. You should uh, replace the gasket. This one doesn't look bad at all, so I'm gonna go ahead and reuse it. Like I always say, don't ever use an impact. Don't do what I'm doing here. Now we'll do the same thing on cylinder two. So again, just like last time, I'm gonna turn this uh, buffer grabber, or a uh, buffer pad uh, driver. I'm gonna turn it, place my finger over that hole until I feel some air. That's how you know you're on the compression stroke. Slip that in until it goes all the way up. Now that the or the piston is all the way up, I'm gonna take these this uh, valve cover off. And just like the other side, take your valve cover off. Oh, that valve cover ripped, or uh, valve cover gasket. And if you missed it last time, cylinder two. And you can see here that the nut is actually on the opposite side, on this side, instead of it being in the bottom, it's right here at the top. Again, check it, uh, make sure you do need to adjust it, six thousandths of an inch again. Uh, we'll see if the valve lash clears. So you can see that it does, in fact, need adjustment. So again, 10 millimeter. Now you'll loosen up here. And this is where you make your adjustment. And slight small turns. A slight drag. And go ahead, tighten that up. Go ahead, check it. Still too tight. Go ahead, readjust. If you did rip your gasket, there's a part number for a new one. Part number is the same on both sides. The valve cover gasket on. Go ahead and put it back on. Remember, don't use an impact. And just like I said, I'm gonna go ahead and replace the spark plugs. There's a part number. And go ahead and uh, check your gap on the spark plugs. They should be pre-gap, but go ahead and check it. Should be, um... so that one's actually right on the dot. I'm gonna go ahead and use a little bit of anti-seize. Then go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. Once you've checked everything, go ahead and test it out. All right guys, so that's it. Um, I'm just gonna do one more test off camera. This is a carbon monoxide detector. 
I'm gonna go ahead and uh, check the levels on that since these are ran indoors. But other than that, I'm gonna call it good here. So if this video helped you out, go ahead, give me a thumbs up, share, like, subscribe, do all that good stuff. And we'll see you next time.